Sam with you, ba 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 Sam with you, T-R-Y, Judy or Sam. Ba bo do bo did you mean are you poopies? Hey guys, my name is Tyler Anderson and I'm a fisherman on the YouTube channel Tyler's Real Fishing. Now today I want to explain to you guys something that I do when I film the fish underwater. I have a platform that I set the GoPro on so that I can film the fish biting the lures. It's pretty cool. Now a lot of people ask how I do this and I don't think I've done a video on it yet. I take the platform that comes straight from the GoPro box and I make an awesome platform out of that. Now a lot of people throw this thing away. I don't know why you would because it's such an awesome mount. So what I do is I drill two holes in each corner, just like this, and then put galvanized bolts on each side to weigh down the platform, and then zip tie it in, and so whenever you place it down in the water, it's just, it's perfect and it's stable, and any current or wind or the fish knocking it won't knock it over. So, it's a pretty cool mount. Now, a lot of people think, well, why not put the camera down here on the bottom? Well, actually, if you put it down there, the GoPro's wide-angle lens would pick up these two bolts here, and uh, you'd be left with two weird bolts sticking into your, your your frame and so if you put it higher up in the water the water column you'll also get a wider range of where the bite is so they could bite it down here and you'd see it they could bite it up here and you'd see it or over here over here so when you have it raised about six inches it actually lets you uh, see more of the fish so definitely something that I would suggest you do if you want to bed fish and film the fish underwater is make your own platform it's pretty cool alright so what I do to put it down in the water is you take it here I have a, I think it's an 8 or 10 foot um, a broom, uh, uh, painting materials, an extendable arm like this. And so what I do is I extend this as long as it can go and then the camera's right here. I take it, I hook this onto the camera and then place it down in the water. And then as soon as it gets down there, you just go like this and release it out and the camera's perfectly down there. You don't have to swim down there or anything. You can just use a pole like this. Now my dad and I had to make this special piece right here. Now what it is, it is the end of a uh, screw on broom and then two pieces of metal that we found. So you can either weld it or we epoxied it. We five minute epoxied it and then put a piece of tape here so the camera can't slide all the way up. Um, so you can really make it any kind of way that you want. Just make sure that you have two pieces of metal and a long extendable arm to be able to catch your camera like that.